Welcome everyone to the official Balloons TD6 tier list. I've gathered all the Balloons YouTubers that I can and had them join for this video. We got Drome ASF, Alukian, Dabloon, H2K Titan, Saber, and myself. And we're going to be going through all T5 towers, discussing them, talking about them, and ranking them in what we think is the best tier. And it's just overall the best tower in pretty much every circumstance. Is it good for boss battles? Is it good late game strategy? Is it good for chimps, half cash? Is it fun? Basically, pretty much all of these things are being taken into consideration. So let's jump into it. Who's excited? Oh yeah. Ooh, oh, very I'm excited, excited to get those ice monkeys on the <laughs> F tier list. No. Okay. no, you're getting out of here, Jerome. Pat you're Fusty you. God tier, dude. Pat no. Fusty God tier. Pat Fusty, let's go. <laughs> We're, let's start off with literally the worst tower in the entire game. Like, no. 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 I mean, thinking, I, uh, ice monkeys? Ice monkeys? Or I yeah, I, would, ice monkeys? I mean, don't get me wrong. Out of, all the, uh, out of all the banana farm routes, it's my personal least favorite. But I wouldn't say the worst tower. It's okay. I mean, I literally haven't seen a single person willingly use that over the other two. Well said. Can I, go ahead can I give my take on it? Exit yes, stage, Dubloon. Stage what, what do you think? Because Dubloon, you usually <laughs> have some, some, a hot take on this. So I'm personally very lazy. I hate collecting the banks. I hate putting down a farmer <laughs> and collecting all the money. So I throw this guy down and he just makes all that money. Well, That's kind of true, Actually, that's yeah. very true. You know what we do is we put down the monkey farm. No, I, I actually <laughs> spend a ridiculous. I spend a ridiculous amount of money on making sure that I have monkey farmers. Like it's it's <laughs> bad. I think that's like my number one expense for my YouTube channel is making sure that I have monkey farmers. <laughs> I think it. I think it's like a C. A. C. <laughs> no. C tier. No shot. It's it's the C. lazy balloons players money maker. Yeah. Okay, glue gunner. I personally never really like use glue in, in pretty much any circumstance. I'd rather just have raw power. So I guess I don't really have much of Wait. a... Is that is that that's the that's super, super glue, glue right? That's, that's super. Glue, that's the yeah. bottom. Yeah, which is basically glue. infinite stall. I, I do have a valid complaint with him. Is that he's meant for Moab balloons with super glue, and glue is obviously meant to slow balloons down. But the one balloon that you need to slow down the most, which is the DDT, he he can't hit him because he can't that's hit camos. Very true. If you have if you have camo detection though, I mean, you get your boy Etienne, you get yourself a middle uh, pass village. I, I, and I think call this guy the Avatar because when you needed him most, he vanished. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what are we thinking here? E, well said. I I can agree with that. I can get behind yeah, I don't, that. I don't like him. Okay, <laughs> this I was one say B. B. Yeah, no, no, B. I think, uh, I think B too. All right, thirty thousand dollars for stalling a balloon infinitely. All right, like put him on C then if you want to meet in between, yeah. you know? We'll, okay, okay. We'll okay, meet okay, in the okay. middle and go with the C tier. Apache Commander. I don't know. No. Com I don't um, know what this one's called, but it's command, the bottom command, 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 command. Command. Thank you. Command, Appreciate command. it. There used to be a bug back in the day where it was, like, really overpowered, like, two years ago. Um, so it seems like worse by comparison, but it, it's it's all, I feel like I haven't used it in a while actually. So it's like pretty bad. You, like yeah, don't use it bad. enough to like know. <laughs> that balloon, the balloon is it's pretty bad. It's, and, and we <laughs> are we put in this in really F tier. Bad. I enjoy its company. <laughs> yeah, I like being able like, to have a little couple. It makes friends. me feel cozy, you know. Where do we put our cold boy? That one. E e S tier. S tier. S tier. I use Sorry, him um, in like every strategy. Actually, okay. I mean, first off, just just look at the ice monkey and how dedicated he is to popping balloons. On top of that, he has a freaking bazooka. That's you know what, that is very valid and fair. Let's Jerome. put him in B for bazooka. B, B for bazooka. <laughs> no. This this is the official tier list, okay? B for bazooka. <laughs> this is <the> <laughs> I really do think this is like kind of a crack tower. This and Super Brittle are just so good. Yeah, well, if you know. consider like I, the tier three, tier four can like solo round 63, it's like, it's actually a really good tower. I think you guys might need to use it just a little bit more. I agree. Okay, you know what? I agree. Okay. I do not use it enough. I will take your wise judgment and put it in A tier. No, you, no, you put that down. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, Jerome, there you go. <laughs> Jerome, you can't even pass round 40 on easy with double no, cash. put me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> put me. <laughs> <laughs> put you. <laughs> okay, all right. This beautiful mortar tower. What do we What do we think about bottom path mortar tower? I love him. A. With shattering shells, he'll knock a. off any kind of fortification, DDT camo. He's my hero. I want to be like him one day you when wanna, I grow up. Drum, Drum, you just want to Do you have like the Bloons wiki pulled up right now? <laughs> no, dude. I just this guy. This guy is my hero. This is my hero. Bro. He's like whipping out some stats that I've never heard this guy pull before. <laughs> yeah, well said, the balloon. What do you think of this guy? Uh, I don't know, man. I'm, I have to pass on this one. I never really use him too much. He costs too much money. Yeah, I agree. I don't really feel like... Does anyone here actually use this tower? Are you guys crazy? No, no like, yeah, in challenge, like, all fortified is gone. 
Yeah. Yes, it takes her all fortified. It gets what? rid of camo. It's... Dude, that's my dad. That's your dad, Jerome? Okay. <laughs> right there. So right, where are we? D for dad. D for dad. D for dad. <laughs> for dad. Hey, no, no, D no, for no. dad. Well said. An He's at least an A. At least an, an A. A for sure. Okay, we'll put him in A. Master Bama. This tower is kind of cracked, especially with, during like boss battles. I know the bottom, oh, yeah. just the one that um, with the C4, and it's, it does like 4,000 damage per, to Moabs. It's crazy strong. I feel like it's kind of a high tier tower. I like the tier four for the boss. I mean, ever since I was introduced to that strategy, it actually helps a lot. But like the master bomber is kind of underwhelming. Like I know he's supposed to do a lot of damage to Moab balloons, Mm -hmm. But I feel like for all the hype buildup over the tier 5, I feel like you should do a little bit more. But that's just my opinion. Okay, fair enough. Alukian, what do you think about it? I have zero idea. I've never used it, which I guess says something. Uh, I was using not him, but the fourth tier one in the last boss fight. And he took down that first tier like real quickly. Like how you're saying, it just drops damage on the big, the yeah. big Moabs. I think I kind of agree with what everyone says here is the fact that I think it has potential and it does good work, but the T5 itself definitely feels a little bit mediocre. And I think because of that, it should go in either D or C tier. Uh, I'd give him the benefit of the doubt. Give him the C at least. Okay. Yeah. You know, I, can, I can respect the C because of the tier four. All right. Now we're moving on to Sniper. I love the Sniper a. Tower. Give him a an A. E. This one's a this, E. No, this Who said one, the, E? The, 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 a very intelligent, wise person for sure. He was hit with a pretty bad nerf in this recent update where the tier five and tier four can no longer passively pop lead balloons unless you upgrade to the top pathway. When you oh. when you when you think about the sniper, you you generally want to go with the middle pathway because it can shoot through the balloons. This guy gets a bad rap. They used to call him the elite dumb fender, and then it was the elite great fender because he started being real good, and then they nerfed him again. I didn't know they nerfed great. him recently, so never mind. All right, I rescind my offer. I'll put him in E for Elite Defender. Why not? Then? Yeah, E for Elite Defender. Yeah. This is game. professional official tier list, by the way, everybody. Very important. <laughs> all right, Perma Spike. My, I, I feel Perma Spike like at least B. At least S. B, right? S. I agree. No, Perma Spikes <laughs> are so good. I feel like once you get perma spikes, you're like, okay, I just win. Like, I, I just yeah. can't, you just can't lose unless you do something so incredibly, like, bad. But I, it's just <laughs> such a strong tower, I feel like. What do we think about the, the sub commander? Easy S tier, like, not even, or if not double S tier. Double yeah, S tier? Yeah, I kind of honestly, I agree that it's definitely at least A, dude. I mean, you put that down, then you get a bunch of other subs, and it's just disgusting. Do we, do we, can we all agree that this is an S tier tower? 100%. Okay. Yeah, I'm down. pretty good, yeah. For sub? S for sub? Got it? Jerome, S for Jerome. sub? What? S, S what plus you? this man. Jerome. S plus this Jerome. man. I know you really don't like this tower. You want me to put him in F tier for you, Jerome? S plus the knight. No, you put the knight at the top. It's right B for Batman. B for Batman, well said. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> no, no, you, you're horrible people. Okay. Batman, if you have a DDT go by, he'll suck him up with his secret ability. Dude, he has this guy's focused ability. on DDT. Dude, Jerome. did the DDTs hurt secret... you, Jerome? True. What no, did the DDTs do to you? Yes, they did. Not any, any tower. You, you, any balloon. Any balloon you want. He'll suck him up with a secret ability. How many other secret abilities are out there? Huh? Anyone? <laughs> No, S plus, S plus, S plus. I mean, in the words of a great man, the knight. You're right. Yes. But, what about S but plus? It's two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Oh, expensive, bro. You get so many other things instead oh, of that, yeah. though. Expensive. It's yeah, Batman, but you bro. Like a million dollars. Nine, so I can respect the S tier. I can respect the S tier. All right, all right. You know what? I'm Put just backing out top. of this one. I'll okay. let you guys make this. The balloon. You, you're the final decision on this. S or A tier. <laughs> He really likes that tower. Let's go for the S. Okay. There well, we go. <laughs> yeah. that's, a, that's a legend right okay. there. Right. Nationally made tier so list. We had to yeah. give it to him. <laughs> yeah. The tax zone. I feel like the tax zone is very similar to tower, almost like the crossbow master, where like very cheap, $20,000, but it gets things done. And especially on easier maps, especially maps like, uh, you know, Cubism or the, the Sada map, the, the balance map, things like that where you can really watch it thrive, it just kicks butt. But I feel like in a harder map, more expert S map, where it's just like straight lines, it really falls off. What What is everyone's thoughts on this? I did do the cheapest chimp strategy with this bad boy. I mean, I think I had something like $130,000 left over. In That's chimps. crazy, actually. Yeah. Like, this That's tower definitely fun. reminds me of a show I used to watch called The Chalk Zone, so I'd automatically oh, put yeah. it in S tier. 
Alukia, what do you think about it? I'm down for like upper tier. Upper tier, so maybe like B, B tier? Yeah, B for the tax zone. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, yeah B for the tax zone. Okay. I'm, I'm, I mean, lines up perfectly. Argue, okay. Can we all agree that this tower is kind of, kind of dodge here, dude? plus tier, dude. S tier. No Hands shot, down, like, bro. No, no, I actually put it in what okay so i feel i feel like you guys may be not fully understanding what this tower allows you to do so what you do is you surround this bad boy with a bunch of banana farms and what it does is it sucks up all of those banana farms and increases the income on top of that it allows your towers to make more money per pop so by the time you make it to like round 80 you're making like a hundred thousand dollars around if not like three hundred thousand dollars per round this tower is absolutely insane so if you're facing off against the boss this is like a necessity like it's like it's quote unquote the meta See, but I just mm. use double cash, so I don't need it. <laughs> there you go. Oh, <laughs> max, max. oh my god. The cheese. I've been playing this game for years, and I barely have used them like four or five times. Yeah, well said. I yeah, completely I've barely agree. ever used it. Just for you, H2K Titan, though, we'll put it E tier or D tier. What do we think? There isn't anything in D tier. Let's, let's fill that slot up. Yeah, let's just, yeah. let's just keep it even. I like it. I so desperately like many other people wanted him to be like the best tower ever you know I mean, he's so cool yeah. he's awesome but he's really just not that good like being realistic no, i enjoy the necromancer him. okay wait what did they change he's so good he's oh he's, broken. He's, okay he's he's an easy s tier because like what? this is like the go-to for chimps yeah he's, he's like he's good he's what? real good like you can afford him like by round 53 and he can solo up until round mid eighties. No way, mid really? Mid eighties. And then you need a little bit of help with a little bit of extra mob damage. Mm -hmm. And then past that, it will solo round 90, round 93, round 95, round 98. It's just a really strong tower and easy S tier. And I feel like it's really, it's only one weakness is if you have just this tower and you have to deal with either like round 40, 60, 80, and 100 where you have the f only thing is one big Moab and the Prince of Darkness doesn't have that popping power. But once you able to get those pops up and he's able to start summoning his little minions, that's when he really starts to shine, right? Oh, Couldn't yeah. have said it better myself. Sarbomba. My, my take on Sarbomba is... Why would I spend $30,000 on an ability to, to pop balloons if I get into a sticky situation? Wouldn't I rather just spend $30,000 on a tower to make sure I don't get into a sticky situation? Yeah, it's I don't a like really them. satisfying tower, but it other is. than being satisfying, it's like, I'd rather spend my money on like it anything is, else. It definitely yeah. is a dopamine <laughs> button, seeing that bomb go vroom, boom, <laughs> and the balloon's just gone. I never choose that. I choose the other tower or the other tiers. So I, yeah, I'd say E. I, I agree with that. I don't really use it. It's more of like a sweaty player tower. <laughs> Total transformation. If you use the transforming tonic with a like a zero two three druid, then you pair those zero three druids with some poplas. The amount of popping power that you can get is actually insane, like crazy. Okay, so basically you're saying he's big poopy unless you have a specific strategy around it. Yeah, he's he's a super sweat tower. D for like Doctor Jekyll, Mister Hyde kind of vibe. I think D. Yeah, yeah. I, I like it. it. Okay, recursive cluster. I think this as an actual like T5 isn't that great because it does increase the damage a little bit, but mainly you're trying to buy it for that ability that just wipes the balloons. And it kind of goes back to what we were talking about with Sarbamba. Why spend $30,000 on making sure that you have a fail safe instead of just making sure you don't Instead, you could literally just buy like five or six other recursive clusters, right? Yeah, but then like, again, I also just get a bunch of recursive clusters. So are we judging these sh like purely on their T5 or also the pads before that? I that's, would, a really that's a good question. That's a good question. Just later. Uh -huh. Yeah. I, I, it, I mean, I spam recursive cluster, bro. Recursive, like, I spam that. I think we can, we can kind of talk about it like... I think the T5 itself isn't great, but the tower path is amazing. And I think we should kind of keep that into consideration. I think, what do you think C then? Call it in the middle. Yeah, for cluster, let's do it. Yeah, C for cluster. <laughs> <laughs> I, I noticed something reoccurring with his uh, tower choices here. No, what are you talking about, man? No. Moab elimination. This is a tower that I very, I use very infrequently. I just don't use it as much as I probably should. So, is there anyone that does use this tower and can? can I think has a great idea. I, I, yeah. I like him. I think yeah. he's pretty, he's pretty effective. I mean, if you think about it, he does. 
a little more damage, although he doesn't freeze like the Ice Monkey uh, with the Bazooka does, but he does a little more damage to like Moabs. Okay. Okay. If I'm trying to do um, Moab damage, I usually just don't choose the bomb shooter to do that. I'll go like cripple Moab <laughs> on the sniper or something, you know, or main Moab or whatever. Mm -hmm. No, so this guy I, I respect the Mauler strat where you spam down a bunch of Moab Maulers, you get yourself a Striker Jones, and then you activate his abilities. But other than that, I just, I just don't like using it. It's just like, not, not the biggest fan. Okay, the balloon. what do you think? This guy, if you're on like a land map, is really useful. You just hit it a few, like four or five times and it takes down the bad, then the rest of your towers do it, and there you would just win champs. Wait, wait, wait. It's pretty cool. Four or five times and it takes down a bad balloon? <laughs> It, it does have a really quick cooldown. Yeah, that's, it cools down real quick. That's insane. So where would you put it then, Dibloon? I I don't use it too often, so probably I, I don't know, like a C, C okay. or D. It has a specialty use for me anyway. I'll put it, let's put it in D tier because I I can can we agree that recursive cluster is better than Moab elimination? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Huh, 100%. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this beautiful boomerang monkey, Alukian, wh what do you think about this tower? It's underrated. I think I'm pretty sure it can defend. Most of a BAD. I don't know if I'm crazy about that. It's I. I think it's You're strong. Not. Like I think this tower it, it, is. It does really a lot. Strong. It definitely yeah. does a lot. I definitely think this is a tower that sleeped on a lot. I personally don't get boomerang, and if I do get boomerang, I find myself getting glaive lord or Moab domination. I don't find myself using it this much because I feel like there might be other towers that performs what it does a little bit better. But I think in certain situations, this tower really can shine. I feel like it's getting a little bit more slept on because like the Paragons are out and there's a bunch of other towers that you can go for. Want to put it in B tier? I think he's pretty good, yeah. Pirate Lord. What do we think about Pirate Lord? One of the best looking towers for oh, sure. I, I agree. love Pirate Lord. It looks yes. so cool. Jack Sparrow. Yeah. But is it good? I'd say they're like A or B tier. Depends on the map too. You think so? Well, yeah, because you want to place them somewhere, like, especially just Buccaneer altogether. You want to place them where they can utilize both sides. Mm -hmm. So I think it depends on the map. It definitely. If I'm going to invest $25,000, I think I would rather go for a Prince of Darkness or a Crossbow Master, but that's just me. I kind of agree with that, I think, because it's one of those things where you're essentially, you're spending the money for the ability to take in a ZOMG or like three MOABs or something like that, right? And so Pretty much. It, it is nice. Dabloon, what do you think about it? Where would you put it? I think he looks pretty cool, so I'd, I'd jump him up a few pegs for that. I, I C agree. for captain. <laughs> C for captain? All right. I'm about it. <laughs> no, dude. B for buccaneer, dog. B for buccaneer. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. 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 Let's go. Professional. Very professional. Official. Okay. <laughs> professional. Oh, look at how official. satisfying and symmetrical this tier list except, is so far. Except this, but we won't talk <laughs> about that. Ah, dude. Symmetrical. <laughs> yeah. Very symmetrical. So now that leaves us with this tower. F yeah. Fat F. Fat F. Fat F. I, fat F. Like, it's way, it's way too expensive. $60,000, bro. Get out of my face yeah, with that. No. Get out of my, let's my, let me buy just an actual super monkey for $60,000. F for fan club, dude. F for fan club. F for, F for fan club. club. Thank yeah. you for being here. Same like it. Your I got you guys. impeccable. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Can Can we... bet with Saber. I <laughs> like the druid. I'm going to go on record and say it. The druid's A druid's crazy. pretty nasty. Didn't it I get also, buff, too? I think the druid's like, this path the druid is like S tier. Like, I feel like you get this path and it's just, you're yeah. just good. It gives you money. The buildup's really nice. And especially with the new change in this recent patch, which makes it more of an offensive tower than a support tower. I think this tower, it really is in a good spot right now. Yeah, that that recent update that it just got is like makes it crazy strong. Yeah, I just want to put out that this is my all time favorite tower in the entire game. I love <laughs> I this guy. It's such he a looks cool so tower. Cool. He's so happy and he just you put him down. He just wrecks it. I, I agree. Well said. Something that I just recently learned about this, though, is I know that adding a 10 times ultra boost will increase the attack speed by 66.6%. It also increases how many bananas a farm makes by 66%. But did you also know that it increases the range of a village by 25%, 2% every ultra boost stack? I was going to say S tier. I did already know that, Ryan, but <laughs> that's, that's because, because you told me previously. <laughs> yeah. Um, wait, 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 wait. Amazing. I didn't know that. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you spread my wisdom. <laughs> Look, Ryan, so I, was, I was shocked when you did first tell me bro, I, you already dude, told I me. found this out like a week ago. I was like, how did I not know this, bro? Uh, yeah, no, that's actually crazy, though. I but, personally love ultra boosting. I mean, I think it's just satisfying to use the ability and, and just ultra boost. You just feel like a god. I don't know why. I would put it in A, though, because obviously it's so expensive. So now that's well, where we have to ask the more professional, you know, people who play 
chimps in the harder game modes. Does, is this tile viable in the slightest in harder game modes? Or is it just a joke? Well, you well you don't go for ultra boost. You would go for overclock, and that was that was something else I was gonna say. Did you know that ultra boost and overclock stack? I did know that. That's a crazy. Like yeah, I love it. I don't know. <laughs> I, I do think the problem is, I think if he was half the price, I think he should just be half the price. To be honest, I I, I, like I think that. he's good, but. Hundred thousand's a lot, dude, and that's easy. Hundred thousand. What's it on yeah. hard? Hundred and it's a like hundred and like twenty-eight. Yeah, two hundred million dollars. <laughs> yeah, well, that's <laughs> ridiculous. One hundred twenty-eight, two hundred million. So, are we thinking more on the the bottom half, like a D tier for this, just because of how expensive it is? If you place it that low, people will not like you. There's I think, yeah. most people don't like We're not placing for what I people would say think of us. We're e. going for the facts. So, E for engineer I, monkey. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Well, people will get upset for that one just because on the Blunarius boss, you do need him like to overclock or to super ultra boost your uh... you know, VTSG and stuff. But other than that, I don't use him too much because he's too pricey. So we'll put him in D tier. Put him above the Moab Mauler in D. Yeah. Okay. Well, there yeah, we'll, we'll put him on like the top of D tier. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. Big boy Monkey Bank. Okay. I think this tower, I mean, I love Monkey Bank. I That's like my main income is just getting Monkey Banks. But does anyone actually put in the effort to get the T5 bank like is that actually a valid I, I just prefer Guilty. to go the top route but I agree yeah. like if I'm going to get like big big dollarinos I want monkey central but is the, is the bank worth it is anyone here like actually use it the monkey bank actually has the highest return on investment don't mean to get all like technical and stuff but you'll actually make your money back for the monkey bank in 10 rounds whereas opposed to like going for the tier 4 uh, banana research facility it'll take you somewhere around 16 to 17 rounds where the monkey bank you can get your money back in 10. That, yeah absolutely getting like t3 just like a bunch of banks is great but specifically for the t5 what do we think about this tower i think it's a little bit too expensive to be you know investing in early and you have to remember to hit that ability all the time. Yeah, and like yeah. I don't, yeah. I, my, I have a that's, memory of like that's a goldfish. where the robo thing comes in, where you just like queue it up to the little robo bot. Yeah, and then I realize I come <laughs> back and my little robots put me thirty thousand dollars in debt. <laughs> Not with the tier five. That's because true. The tier five just gives you ten thousand. I think Tootie, you said big boy bank. There's a lot of bees in there. <laughs> I'm thinking B. Okay, well said, girl. <laughs> well said. The official tier list is coming in hot. Okay, <laughs> middle path glue monkey, the Doc Ock. Okay, what do we think about Doc this tower? <laughs> I like, I like having this ability. I like that it hits camo balloons with its ability. That is a really nice thing to have, especially if you go the top path and you get the acid, which is gonna melt the, the corrosive, which melts the balloons as an ability. Pretty nice to have, but overall, I don't know. It feels a little lackluster sometimes. Wait, everything takes more damage with it, right? I, I yes. don't know. Wait, yeah. what? Yeah. yeah. So it's it's pretty solid and it lasts like a so long. That is like well, it's not used that much, but it's it has its place. Any balloons that are affected by the glue will take more damage. It's not as effective as like the top pathway ice monkey or the cripple moab. Plus, it's like super cheap. G for e. glue gunner. Yeah. I was gonna say the same thing. G for glue gunner. <laughs> We're <laughs> synced up, man. Oh. <laughs> but it does D look for like Doc Ock, Ock, which is pretty cool. E yeah. D for Doc Ock. D for Doc Ock. Doc Ock. Okay. I like <laughs> All right. it. All right. I don't know. I, I feel like I would use Elite Defender way more than That's I would. True. I don't even think I've ever used yeah. it. E tier is going to be. Yeah, we'll yeah, do there that. you go. Okay. This tower is kind of crazy. The bottom path. No, this is middle path. Support this is, Chinook. Support Chinook. I feel like it just provides so many things. It gives you lives. It gives you money. It gives you the option to move towers around. You could also have the the new the gunner. I guess it's not really new, but you can put in some kind of like attack shooter or something. It feels like it just provides a lot for you. And especially, I find it very useful when you're going up against like Lich Boss or things that drains lives. That I've... little sniper dude is like super strong. He's cracked. He is. Yeah. I'm thinking A maybe. A. And I like if you. I... I can respect it. If you take like the fourth tier bottom path super monkey and put him in the plane, it turns into like a little shooter and your mouse, you follow the mouse around, just blow up all the balloons. It's really cool. <laughs> yeah. I I've agree. always wanted to try that. I just never have. It's so really like fun. Cool. You I can think, also put a banana good. farmer in there too. No, Wait, can you like actually? Can you really? So you can have him going around the map? Yeah. Okay, oh I actually like I, I've that. never tried this, but I'm assuming <laughs> someone amazing. in this call definitely has. Can you put the cave monkey in there? 
Oh, I haven't tried that. <laughs> no one's tried that. I haven't in this call, tried really? that. That's actually brilliant. Yeah, we, yeah, we need to do this. Uh, <laughs> copyrighted. You owe me twenty percent. <laughs> <laughs> our beautiful ice monkey. Our our F. little the drum. Drum. This drum. This tower is not going in the F tier. Okay. I e. I love this tower for uh, for a lot of reasons, but. The main reason I love this tower is that glitch. Here it comes. I, is, is the glitch <laughs> where you comes. can put down the little the, the portable water lake and you stack the lakes just <laughs> and you get like 20 lakes on top of each other and you keep freezing it and then you just put like a sniper that you can just see over all the walls and it just annihilates everything. And I think just alone for that is it's so funny. That's so well, true though. I mean, honestly, I would put it like just because of the glitch, I would put it in like B or A, I, I, like somewhere around there. But I mean, are you gonna really take advantage of the glitch though very often, Ryan, or do you just do it for the gimmick? I do it for the gimmick. <laughs> the gimmick makes me happy. Well, I was gonna say, I like to take the ice monkey and like make it to where I can put my vengeful sun god on top of water and then buff it with like a carrier flagship and towers that buff water monkeys because that's actually really, really strong. That is a really, a very valid point. I like that a lot. Alukian, what do you think? Yeah, and, and it's it's all, especially in like round 95 and stuff, it's a great support tower, so. Okay, where yeah. do you, where do we want to put it? I I think this is all very positive, so I think more of them like the higher tier, right? A. Maybe. A? I like it. Let's throw them in A tier. We are heading up to the Mortar Tower. I feel like I don't use the Mortar Tower as much as I should. Whenever I do, I just get the big one. I just want some big boy damage, okay? But middle path, what do we think? Doubloon, what are your thoughts on this? I mean, I think we could save some time and throw like the next three into F and just keep well moving. Said. Well, said. Oh. well said. Don't you oh. dare. Oh. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. No. Oh, no. Yeah. Yep. I it's mean, the middle, path, the middle path ninja does so much passive damage to any balloons that come on the screen and then the elite sniper increases the reload time of the other snipers making them stronger and gives you money and lives i mean do you really well pass said. those two up well said i'll put them at the top of f tier there you go <laughs> wow that's very generous ryan you're so you're so yeah, that is, yeah. <laughs> thank you oh. thank you oh. you guys are having a heart he's like oh please <laughs> spike storm that's yeah, spike storm. Right. yeah probably like a c or a d okay i i agree alukia what do you think yeah, that sounds good. I don't. Put him in this. <laughs> hey, it's here. all right. Yeah. Balloon Master Alchemist. This guy is just. He just look. That's fashion. Okay. That is definitely the coolest looking tower. He's like. He knows he's the coolest tower in the game. The fact that he turns. He turns balloons into gold. He can get like an infinite number of pops. He scales infinitely. He can do pretty much like everything. I think this tower is cracked. I personally would put him in like A tier. I mean, he does look cool. He yeah. Does for look looks cool. alone, A for sure. Yeah. Well said. Okay. The, the Russian submarine middle pad. Ooh. Oh man, it, it's expensive, so I, I never really get it, but it takes DDTs out instantly. Like you don't have to worry about them on any round. It's it's beautiful for that. Yeah, but. it's really, really nice. Saber, what do you think of this tower? Um, okay, well, I'm getting called out. I've never really used it, so. That's fair, that's <laughs> fair. F tier. F tier. <laughs> well, the preemptive strike and the first strike can one shot a bad balloon, so I think it should definitely be up there. I, yeah, it's like I like a the good ground zero in a way. A lot. Yeah. B tier, how's that sound? I respect yeah. it. Okay, sure. The anti balloon gunner. Crit oh. hit! Yeah, the, the, the fact that <laughs> yeah. they have the new crit hits, this tower's crazy now. I feel like this thing just mows balloons down. No. Be for crazy? I, would, I, I agree. Would honestly Wait, can, put it, can I, do, I put it like top of A, bro? I was going to say, can I, a quick question. Without the crit hit update, what do you think of like C? I would put it uh, uh, like at like, least I'd put it like top of C, maybe B, somewhere yeah. without crit hits. Yeah. yeah. With crit hits, though, yeah, definitely. Like that's huge. I think that's just so powerful. The balloon. I, I like him. I think his uh, ability, the sound of it, is like the coolest sound. The little wow, wow, wow sound. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Goes yeah. out there. Let's put him in A tier. I like A tier. Okay. This this the tag shooter middle plath blade maelstrom. I think this it's such a strong ability. Lucian, what do you think about it? Yeah, no, it lasts a million years and it comes back super duper quick, so. Yeah, I think on like cer certain maps, I mean, it's only like $15,000. One of the cheapest T5s in the game and it feels like it just gives you so much. The actual tower itself, kind of poopy, but the ability, <laughs> it just feels so good to be able yeah. to use. And it looks it gets sick. Some, 
Get some energizer down next to it. Cooldown rate lowered. Ooh, baby, you're in business right now. Yeah. Business? B? B for business? B right. for business? <laughs> All right, well said. Okay. <laughs> M-I-B, the village. This is like my most used tower. This tower is just like... S tier? There's not a game mode that you're not going to use this in. S tier it is. Fire Lord Phoenix. This guy is just like just popping power right once you get it you have the phoenix always going around you can turn him into a giant fire lord phoenix it has a super strong build up being able to have wall of fire down pops so many balloons in the very beginning i just feel like he's a super strong tower a little bit on the expensive side b maybe it's super strong super expensive and the meteors look so cool though so oh so cool i it's agree so good let's throw him up in b tier sky and, you know, fun trade. fact wait real real quick man fun fact the phoenix is actually technically counted as a tower from when we learned that from that mod removing the heads ryan yeah dude technically it's a tower because we had a modder they removed all like the the hats and heads from all towers and when you use the phoenix the head's gone so it counts as a tower yeah super whack <laughs> super strange sky shredder like again the price because i mainly play chimps so i don't have that much money so i usually F -tier. I would go, like c c tier all right i'm about it then i think uh, it's just so annoying I, on the yo. screen with all the darts dude i just can't i really oh, yeah. don't like it at all like yeah, I, you can't I find your mouse. mouse all the time yeah, yeah. oh dude oh my god i thought i was alone on that no, i can no. never no. find my cursor dog i, I oh can never gosh. find it it's always missing bro i need like <laughs> well, i need to find like a big red circle around it's like it's here my friend well they just updated so you can make your mouse cursor real large so that helps oh, really? a lot oh yeah i'm gonna lost. I need to put. I'm seeing. Oh, we really lost that update. Yeah, it's real cool. I didn't know that. Yeah, you'll lose your mic every time you have like a sky shredder or what's that other one? Oh, the VTSG. You put that down, you can't see anything. Yeah, I just wish you could turn off all projectiles. I think that'd be really nice. Oh, that'd be cool. Agreed. Bottom path engineer Alukian. How do you feel about this tower? I mean, it's in challenges. It's really good against like ceramics that are two thousand percent. But like for an actual game, it's too inconsistent. Each year, then friends. How does it sound? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. I fit perma brew like S tier, right? Easy Ooh, S tier. Oh good. Yeah. So oh, yeah. easy S tier. Easy S tier. This tower is just like it gets it gets things done. Allows you to pop lead balloons. Once you get permanent brew and you throw it on a fast attacking tower, you're just like, wow, it just feels good to have this tower in your game. It just it's nice. Bomb oh, just look at that smile. He's just yeah, that's a winning smile. <laughs> I love all the I my favorite towers are all the monkeys that just look so happy, which is like the alchemist, the druid, like they're just having such a great time. They're so happy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Top path, Bloom Crush. I think this tower is kind of good, but as Dabloon says, kind of expensive. So H2K Titan, how do you feel about it? I like it because it does have a lot of stall, but when it comes down to it, it's just way too expensive. I, I was going to so. say E. I think E. e. Oh okay. my gosh. So you guys all like that purple glue guy, the one that can slow towers down, but this guy literally stops them. Yeah, Dead stopped all that's, towers. That, all, all balloons. I'm with you in this one. Or, this yeah, tower is crazy. I think he deserves at least C tier. Well, and hey, if but we're if we're also thinking about just like thousand dollars, but if you're also thinking about what you can get before you get the T5 itself, you always go bigger bombs. You know, if you get like recurs recursive cl cluster, you're gonna want bigger bombs and all that too. Yeah. So I mean, that is a good path for the the beginning at least. How about we put it sure. top of D tier then? I can <laughs> respect it. Yeah, sure, because of the price. Okay. D for doggy doo doo. Gotcha. Yeah, D for doggy doo doo. Okay. <laughs> Saber, how do you feel about mo the more glaives or, you know, this Ooh, the glaive There's Lord. only one right answer here. I mean, I think I it's pretty cracked, bro. I'm not going to yeah. lie. I mean, I, I don't really, like, I haven't used it a lot, but when I do use it, it, it's never let me down. It just feels like once you get it down, no amount of balloons that are not moabs are getting by like ceramics like any type of rush it just deals with it right especially you're if you're on a like a, a map with a strong turn like park path or the uh the willy wonka map with some of the circles like if you get them in a good spot whoo we can he get some work done what do you think about it to i've always liked him i think he's super cool and back when i used to play like battles a long time ago you go for that top path boomerang and it was always rocking yeah absolutely where would you put him I like a C or a D. I agree. Let's put what? him in D. <laughs> <laughs> I so always I mean, really he liked so him. Cool. He was great. I'd put him in D. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. looks cool. I mean, he is cool, but he's not that cool, you know? He's okay. like one of the coolest okay. looking towers. Top path monkey buccaneer. The one with the planes that goes everywhere. The beauty and the one that gives a b boost to all water towers and planes. Super strong tower in my opinion. What do we I've think? definitely got like a bias here just because like with Sky Shredder, it's kind of the same thing. I just hate seeing projectiles all over the screen. I just yeah, I would say it's an interesting one for me where I would say on any traditional map, A, but on an almost all water map, S tier. 
because it gives you more land space. Okay, That's I agree. Because it's one of those towers that, like, it can really shine in the right situation, but most of the time it's just kind of like an okay-ish tower. And so, Alukian, where, where do you want to put it on the tier list? I, I never use it. I have no idea. <laughs> no idea? I I love this tower. I feel like just with the buff and everything, I, I think it's just either like a, a C or a B tier, honestly. I would probably I'd say, say C. I'd say, I'd say a B tier for the Buccaneer again, because it is super strong. <laughs> the blue it helps a lot Dude, with Dude, B for value. Buccaneer, man? <laughs> <laughs> it's just so, it can be so random though. You can, I, I have so much footage of me losing maps super late in the game because the planes are just off the map somewhere, not shooting. Uh, that's yeah, very I hate true. Planes, man. That's I hate true. Him. We'll put it in D tier for that. Okay, Ultra oh, Juggernaut. No. He lowered it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ooh, that's rough. Ultra Juggernaut is cracked, bro. Especially for just like the Dart Monkey. I think. I mean, I think it's the best dart, like like path for the Dart Monkey. No right? shot. Other than, no uh, shot. Uh, other than cro no, no, you're right. Other than crossbow, but I mean, what? Like, I mean. That's definitely right behind it. That's got to be right behind it. No, it's not and even it's so close cheap. to a crossbow master. Yeah. It's so, well, I mean, you need cheap. the right spot it's super in the right cheap. situation. I'd say either C or D tier, personally. I'm feeling guilty about the plane boat, though. I think we need to raise that one. Okay, where do you want to put, put it? Put it then? in C, man. Come on. Okay. <laughs> C, because it's in the sea, it's in the ocean. Oh! oh we'll put it in C. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like and subscribe. <laughs> okay, top path, Druid. This thing is crazy, but again, expensive. F. F tier? Ooh, ooh. Does anyone know? Nah, it's so cool looking. It's like the Phoenix have, in a way. No, I, I have a quarrel with this tower. Because I have, if you get this tower, some of your rounds and games will last five times as oh. long. Because he doesn't deal a lot of damage to Moabs, and he'll keep kicking them back to the start. <laughs> and it just, it literally will extend the time by like 5x. It's yeah. terrible. No, I, I, I will do. literally take you 15 minutes to beat round 97 if yeah. you go for that tower. Yeah, F tier just for that reason alone. Well said. Okay. All right. Um, Century pair, I mean, Century champion. <laughs> <laughs> I can't oh, believe yeah. that they said that. Can we also talk? Ninja Kiwi, what are you doing? Okay. I'm, Dude, you know they're lining up a Paragon for the Engineer Monkey. You know they. That's you, why they They have that. to. They next have Paragon, to. Next Paragon. Yeah, definitely. What do we think about this tower? I think it's cheap. It's nice. It's really good. It annihilates Moabs. But here's the main problem I have with it. I, I'm playing the game, and every five seconds, you just hear the sentry. Boom, 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 <laughs> the sentry just exploding. I'm like, bro, I don't want to listen to this. C for champion. Yeah, there See, we go. For champion, well said. Okay. E for this this is S tier, right? This is the best monkey farm. Like this makes you just so much money, right? Yeah, S. S. The balloon, you're normally, you know, for the, like the chimps, the higher difficulties. How do you feel like is this worth getting in the more difficult game modes or like how do you feel about it? Definitely, yeah. I know, I'm not the biggest late game guy, but if I do, I definitely go with that one before I go for the other path farms. The top path glue gunner. Absolutely melted balloons. I don't know if, like how much challenges apply, but in challenge, like it depends like pretty much all balloons, even if they're like a billion regrowth. It's one of those towers that like against normal balloons, it just absolutely melts them. But then as soon as Moabs come around, the tower literally just becomes useless. It's like, okay, it actually just does nothing now. Yeah. So for, how do we feel about just like D tier for it? Yeah. I can respect it. Yeah, right. D for Glue Gunner, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, D for Glue Gunner. <laughs> Apache Prime. Jerome, how do you feel about this oh, behemoth I'm, of a tower? I'm thinking A. A or high B, but I love him. I think he's really good. I completely agree with that. Anyone else? The A yep. is where he belongs. Yeah, yeah he definitely begins in A. This guy in Asada can pretty much carry most of chimps in any of the beginner maps. Yeah. I completely mm -hmm. agree. It's so good. Super brittle ice monkey. S tier. I agree. I agree. <laughs> I agree with that. Said. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm I think an F. Uh, Avatar of Wrath, like S tier, right? Easy like, S tier. S, S plus, yeah. Yeah, no, this this Avatar of Wrath <laughs> is like the best tower in the game right now, in my opinion. So good. Crossbow Master. I feel like this boy has to be either B or A tier, right? Like so powerful. Super strong, super cheap. The monkey knowledge with the dual crossbow masters. Um, looks really cool. I can respect the A. Let's put him in A tier. Okay, yeah. the big one. Okay, how do we feel about this monster tower? Well said. I don't like it. You don't like it? It's like the yeah. boom silver, right? Where it's like, 
<laughs> doesn't do well against Moabs, but good against Bloons. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. And I feel like, you know, it does a, it does a lot of massive AoE damage, but like, you know, I'd rather just get like attack shooter or a bomb shooter or something like that instead. It's nice to have global range and like if you're playing on the moon map, kind of necessary. But other than that, it feels like it doesn't really do much. I think either like maybe D or E tier. Yeah, I'll give it E because I'm super lazy when it comes to playing balloons. So needing to micro a tower around just bro, I can't, yeah. bro, no, I was no. cracking up. I was literally just watching your stream and you were and you were just like having to micro the uh, the tower. And you're like, bro, I can't win. I just got a micro. And it was so funny. I was cracking up, bro. Oh, Grand you guys are haters. Grand Oh, do you wait? Do you not like it? Do you think it should go higher up? Well, so like on a map like Spillway or the Moon map, like you said, or a resort, just something with the where they all spin around in a circle, that thing just destroys. And I do not micro; I'm super lazy. And you just throw that guy down; he destroys everything. Just because of that, we'll yeah. put him in D tier, just for you, okay? <laughs> D <laughs> for right. destroy. D for destroy. Well said, Grandmaster Ninja. I feel like the Ninja. It's just like it's great as a starting tower. Like right in the beginning, you put it down, you get a couple of points in it. But like. Grandmaster Ninja feels like it just falls off so quickly, but is, is that just me? Do you all feel the same? Uh, I, definitely agree. I, think, I well, agree, but I think he carries you for so long before that, though. Okay. Well, when you go for Grandmaster Ninja, you, gen you generally want to go for Shinobis with it, because if you use the Grandmaster Ninja with Shinobis, it increases his attack speed by so much. Dude, He's I get it, like but we're not moving him out of F tier. Shinobis <laughs> and an F tier, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Stubborn, man. That's my boy. All right, where do we where do we want to place this tower? Then Alukian, you you get the final say. Where do you want to put well, it? I, I literally don't use it, so no idea. All right, well uh -huh. said, F tier. No, <laughs> you're crazy. You're a maniac. Jitsu. Blue Jitsu, the, Jitsu, the tier four. You can literally carry all the way up no, until but, forty. But hang on, yeah, the blue Jitsu is great, but this guy, my main gripe is that he has to bring all his friends with him. He can't do it on his own. <laughs> yeah, well said. I he, agree. He just likes to hang out with his boys. <laughs> yeah. Cripple Moab, I feel like this is e either B or A, right? This tower just like so strong. Like I feel like I always have a sniper. No matter like I get a uh, the one that does 20 damage, like a three zero two, and just like at the end of the game, he always has like 80 or 100k pops for spending like seven grand. Like it's crazy good. And with Cripple Moab on boss events, being able to stun balloons and have all sources of damage do extra damage to like Moab class balloons, like Super Brittle, just makes this tower crazy strong in my opinion. Well, with the super brittle, it gives you plus four damage to all balloons. And with the cripple Moab, it gives you plus five. So it's actually a little bit better than super brittle. The only difference is like the super brittle attacks just a little bit faster. Okay. All right. What do we think? B or A tier? Or something completely not those two? I think B. I like B. Yeah, B sounds good. Okay. All right. The super mines. They're the, like the third most expensive tower in the game for like $160,000 or whatever. How do we I, feel about it? I uh, think compared to price and the fact that the permanent spike just slaps. I mean, <laughs> I think this guy's trash. I, okay, I agree. Garbage. Uh, garbage. Yeah, I'm yeah. definitely not inclined to use him. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Energizer. How do we feel about Energizer? Fourth it's a good battery. Free. It's all right. Third yeah, A or B. Cool. Because yeah. it does have that 25% cooldown reduction for all of your abilities. It is really nice, plus the 50% hero XP gain. It's definitely a nice mm -hmm. tower. Let's throw it in B. True Sun God Temple. I feel like this is a the, an interesting conversation to have, right? Argue- Quick it, question. Okay, of course. Is it the True Sun God or are we talking about the Vengeful? I th Gotta I th lay that out there right now. I think we talk about it as a whole, right? Like we have the option to make a Vengeful Sun God Temple. So like, you know, you have those options, but I think we look at look at the tower as a whole. So cost efficiency, the fact that you can turn it into a vengeful sun god temple, and the fact that you can just have like a normal a normal sun god temple as well. How how do we feel about this tower? I mean, there's no doubt that it's the strongest tower in the game when you provide it with what it needs, but that's you're looking at a multi-million dollar investment for that, right? So how do we feel about it? Well, if you're going for the true sun god, it's just like you're, you're, like, you're, like you were saying, you're going to need to invest a lot of money. And that's just if you're going for the Vengeful Sun God. If, or not the Vengeful, but the True Sun God. If you're going for the Vengeful, you need to invest even more money to get the other two Tier 5s. 
Whereas if you don't go for the Vengeful, the True Sun God is just absolutely garbage for like the 500, 700, yeah. a million dollars you need to invest. I kind of agree with that. Alukian, how do you feel about it? Yeah, it's just, it's so expensive. There's just, you only get it if you're like trying to get it. You don't get it because it's the best option unless you're trying to go late game. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. Do we want to put it in like C or B tier? E. E yeah, tier? I would say E actually. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, there goes my like dislike ratio. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. All right. People are gonna hate that. Yeah. No, they're gonna. It is be a really human. cool tower. Like, like, it's cool, I'm, but like, it's I'm not gonna gimmicky. say it's not, but yeah. it's just way yeah, it's too just, expensive. Is it just me or is it like it's so much work to get it to what it needs to be? And yeah. I'm just like, oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm over there it's looking. Just, at it's gimmicky. Like you're not <laughs> playing. You're not gonna try and go for that like every single time to win. You're doing it like for. A, you're just like, oh, you know what? This time I'm gonna go for the sun god. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I do it for the clickbait. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There you the go. Clickbait. Yeah. The all right. Top path tax shooter. This fiery behemoth of awesomeness. Ring my of fire. This thing is kind of cracked, especially the fact that it shoots out fireballs and like homing fireballs of like awesomeness. I like it. The fireballs take down DDTs if it lines up with it, and it's just it's overall pretty clean. But it's super expensive to get there. I completely agree with that, Jerome. How do you feel? I feel kind of the same way. I also just have a disdain for towers that can't pop camos, so. I don't know. Uh, I think C. C tier? I personally would put it in B tier. How does everyone feel? I like B. B yeah. for fireball? Yeah. Top B of C or B. Cool. Yeah, B for fireball. Well said. Okay. Top <laughs> yeah, path yeah. village. This thing with the, just the catapult of awesomeness, okay? Before before H2K can argue, I think F. Well said. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'm man. Sorry, with that, I'm sorry. With the whole, uh, with the whole rec recursive it. cluster uh, strat now that you can do, I don't know. I mean, it kind of, you can do more now with it. I you agree. You can get a lot of good upgrades, and uh, I don't know. When you, you mix it with ceramics. Yeah, once you mix this with other primary towers, the fact that you get the first two T upgrades for free around it, two T ha, and then you get ah! everything else, <laughs> I think this tower really can shine. I think this should be in either like, either C, B, or A. I'd go B. B looks good. Okay. Top path wizard, the old man Gandalf. What do you think of Lucian? It's awesome. Like just, it's just a good go-to tower. Like even like in chimps and something, it's kind of, it's just spicy and it looks cool. So I completely agree. Where uh, would you put it? I think it's a well-rounded tower. Yeah. Yeah. I'll give it a B. B. All right. I'm about it. B tier. Okay. All right. Merchant F, F tier, F. right? F tier. F. Worst tower. F. Worst tower of the game. Yep. H2K. I'm not saying anything. He's, he's over there I'm sobbing in the corner. He's like, no. Sink not saying anything. <laughs> Sink it. No money making here. Okay. We're here for you damage. You will be missed. Okay, MAD. This, this, this is like S tier, right? This tower is insane. MAD is so yeah. nasty, bro. Yeah, yeah. easy. Easy, easy S tier. Okay, Flying Fortress. And this is just one of those things that just feels too expensive, right? Like, it's strong. You get it. You win. But the initial investment to get that, like, $90,000, $100,000 just feels like such a... It, it just makes your wallet feel so empty at the end of the day for, for not a lot, right? It just misses all those balloons. I think f flying F. Okay, what? well said. <laughs> no, you're, no, you're a maniac. <laughs> we'll put, we'll put him in this man up. That's, no, that's, a, that's an A. Th no shot. Nah, it's not no, A, bro. We'll put it, so no much way it's money. A. We'll put it, we'll put on it in boss D. rounds, it can always... It, I know he misses a lot, quote-unquote, but on boss rounds with, like, the slower, like, lich boss for... Like, he hits he hits it every time. Yeah. Just gotta, uh, I mean, I guess, like, man. But you gotta remember, Jerome, I think you're thinking of when, like, you, me, and Ryan would triple stack all of it, and then yeah. it does something. And then you just But on its own, when you only have one, it's just... I don't think it's that worth it. Ray of Doom. I think this is the same thing with, like, the Flying Fortress, where, like, wow, it's great, but man, is it expensive! Cost it's so nasty, bro! It's so good. Titan, how do you feel about it? I like it. I mean, he looks really nice. I'll just put it this way. He's a nice person, but I'm just going to leave it at that. Well said. Oh my e -tier. Gosh, put it I think it <laughs> it's very map dependent. If you have maps with straight like straight paths, like, real like a lot of it, then it's a lot better, obviously. Yeah, I completely agree. Then we got Moab Domination. What do we think about it? Dabloon, where would you put this bad boy? Uh, we got to represent the Aussies, so. Yeah. Uh, but he's super expensive. But once you get him, he's super good. But the fourth tier to the fifth tier is like such a huge hike. Yeah, I agree. Um, so maybe in the middle, yeah. C tier, all right. And last but not least, 
the bottom path dartling gunner. This tower is kind of insane. The fact that it can target on its own, massive AoE, just shreds balloons. Alukian, how do you feel about it? Well, I, okay, I was about to give it like an E tier, so clearly I don't know how to use it. <laughs> e tier, <laughs> so. okay, well, let's see. H2K Titan, how do you feel? I think it's really good. Like, you don't need to worry about microing it like you do the Ray of Doom or the Mad Balloon. Mm -hmm. And once you pair it with like an MIB, I mean, he has some solid popping power. Plus, when you, when you say the word Bez because the Balloon Exclusion Zone, it just sounds really nice. It does, it, it does, it's pretty <laughs> nice. Saber, how do you think about it? Um, I think if you get a good placement, like, you know, you got a loop on the track or something, it's absolutely disgusting. It basically, is, I mean, it's it's just going to end up being better than a tack shooter, of course. So, B, so I, uh, B for better? Yeah, B sure, for better. Blue, yeah. B for yeah. blue explosion <laughs> zone? There we go, my friends. And this is the official BTD6 tier list. Thank you, everyone, so much for participating, Wait, coming, and helping me can out. we get an S plus tier for Pat Fusty? You're right. Oh, yeah, you legend. gotta throw Fusty up yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pat and then, Fusty. And then, yeah, and then, <laughs> yeah. And then just throw Fusty, make Krusty there up there. Yep. Yeah, there yeah, we go. Okay. Thank you. That's ex This is the official tier list. If you want us to all come back together to make another tier list on the heroes, talk about our thoughts, hit that like button. If this video gets 20,000 likes, we'll bring everyone back for another video. Please make sure to go to the description down below. Check out all these beautiful amazing youtubers they're incredibly talented they upload balloons pretty much every single day so go check them out and have a great rest of your day everyone bye